Yes. Okay. Hello. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Hey, guys. Good morning. <clears throat> So, yeah, we're not here. No, okay. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, it's waiting for people yeah. coming, and right now uh, we have uh, uh, like an uh, internet delay. Mm. But uh, the after a couple of seconds, we'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everyone. All right. Hi, good morning. So, how's everyone doing on the weekend? Now we say people are coming right now. Yeah, yeah, people are starting coming up okay. on their way. So it might be uh, in the morning in your country, <laughs> afternoon in Asia. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, basically Hi, today everyone. will be oh, very yeah. interesting. Yeah, because yeah. today we actually have a huge topic. That's why we are all here. And we have uh, new members and yeah. gorgeous girls. <laughs> are you happy? <laughs> you are surrounded uh, by uh, us. Of course, I'm happy, yeah, but I can't say that loudly. I'm just happy inside my heart. Okay, stab your heart. Okay, it's time to show you today. Okay, so we're gonna wait for a couple of minutes, waiting for more people coming, and then we're gonna start our topic today. Yeah, yeah. So, when we to you, right? What or? printer you ordered? Yeah, what? Ni hao. Monday, Monday or noon? Wow. That Europe. might be uh, Europe. Time. Europe, Europe yeah. time. No. So, what printer did you order? Mm. Hello, this is our old friend. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> hello from Portland. Well, some people really like a three and a three pro. <laughs> and a three. That's nice. Okay, so you got the uh, three pro. Mm -hmm. Good choice. Hi, this lesson check the beats to the boys. Yeah. Yeah. So how do we sound in your end? Is the voice clear? Yeah. I hope our, our voice and the video quality should be fine today. And before we start, I believe we're gonna do a Quick introduction about our uh, members here today. Uh, um, what you're doing. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, today we actually, as you see, we have uh, uh, well, we are all together here. Right. So I am Ashley, and it will, this will be my sixth uh, sixth live stream. And uh, we also joined by me is our old friend Tina. Yeah, yes. Tina. Tina. And you do notice there is a beautiful girl sit in the corner, and yep. her name is Jasmine. So welcome, Jasmine. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Okay, everyone. I come from Midlands, and I just just uh, to introduce you a job last Thursday, and some um, basic principles behind it. And I would like that you are very glad that you see you here because that's very interesting. Okay. Uh, today is just going to be our main character today. And uh, you can ask many questions as you want. And we will try our best to answer them. And uh, also, uh, me, uh, Eli, and uh, I'll be here every Monday. So almost uh, you already know me. And uh, it's good to see new members, especially new girls coming here on Monday. I hope you guys will be excited. Are you excited? <laughs> so, and, yeah. uh, you, and, and, and you can see from our poster uh, this afternoon here in China, and uh, we will talk about uh, a very interesting topic today. Yeah. Also, you can see uh, in front of our desk, yes. they are here. So you already know the topic today as we have posted on Facebook. Yeah, so yeah. what we can talk about today? Oh, uh, I will just uh, leave a question uh, to Jessica uh, and uh, you guys. So you can ask questions. And today, basically, we will do a very detailed introduction about what we have here. So 
Take your own Mr. Kandula assemble and disassemble, introducing about uh, all the components. And uh, let's say uh, if you guys can have a better idea and uh, to make your own bit. So uh, basically, before we go to our topic, and we will just do a quick uh, background and uh, introducing about uh, our 3D printing and 3D printer. So let's say uh, in our group of what uh, we have here, you guys already know uh, how your own printers and you print uh, your car every day. But mostly, we just uh, do a simple downloading and uh, do a slicing in the cure or any other software. And yeah, put it in the yeah. Of course, some of you already know advanced uh, techniques to do some interesting projects. But after all, there are some limitations about 3D printing. Yeah, there are just so many other ways that you can play with 3D Exactly. So, uh, our goal here uh, for creativity is not trying to sell uh, printers or exactly. products. Mm -hmm. Also, we, are, we have big goals. We are trying to discover the potential of 3D printing and 3D printers. That's why we are here today, because we want to introduce you something we can use uh, 3D printer and other, other technologies such as uh, uh, mechanical engineering and uh, circuit analysis uh, and other uh, all kinds of areas we can use. We can combine all technologies together with 3D printers and make interesting and wonderful projects. Okay. Okay, so it's we are, yeah. Uh, so yeah, just for a second, our entry is on the virtual okay. office, and then they, yes. maybe our videos is past your computer, and we are doing the square gestures. <laughs> you know. Okay, that's fine. Let's so talk yeah. freely, and yeah. because we are uh, facing some uh, common uh, internet uh, yeah. traffic. That's one thing about uh, the internet itself because we are in the far away land. We are so far away from you guys. So give us a little bit of patience and yeah. also the internet itself. Right. Yeah. So we're just going to wait for a second and say, uh, good. Okay, okay, now we're good. Now, now we're okay, good thank you. That. Thank you so yeah. much for thank telling you us. For okay. Mm. After the general background mm -hmm. and uh, the introducing about 3D printing, mm -hmm. uh, the reason why we are here. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna into our uh, topic right now, and uh, I believe you guys or uh, actually already have many questions regarding to this uh, project, mm -hmm. and I hope the following time will be the moment for you guys to ask mm -hmm. uh, and answering. Uh, yes. yes. Okay, so uh, what question do you bring today? Uh, so yes, uh, you have already familiar with our topic today. Is we actually gonna talk about this uh, gel ball shooting? Oh uh, yeah, have it? Shooter, yeah, shooter in front of us. I know, okay, you know, because, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know how to hold it. I don't know even how to hold it. But uh, so I have so many questions in my mind. And one thing is, okay, I feel a little bit dangerous. How about our technician put this? Okay, so I'm do. gonna hold it, and uh, our uh, member, new member, uh, mm -hmm. Jasmine, gonna uh, do a quicker introduction about uh, uh, the structure about this. Uh, how can yeah. I say that? It's a micro or uh, micro woozy uh, cluster. Micro woozy. Yeah. Yes, exactly. A gerbil. Shooter or bastard? Yeah, it's yeah. Yes. shooter. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so uh, so Jasmine, can you tell me about something? Tell us about something about this shooter. Like, uh, how long did it take you for to build this, and uh, why do you want to build this in the first place? Well, um, to be honest, it take uh, nearly 
48 hours to print this out. Eight hours? Yes, 48 wow, hours. Long, that's a long and time. we just find some STR fires online and we've got this woozy blaster and we have to purchase some electronic parts like a gel box or like some lithium battery or ignition coil or something like that on um, AliExpress or something, some, some purchasing platform. And it take really two weeks to build the whole set the up whole because yeah. we are managing other stuff. So not exactly on this, that it's very interesting to yeah. enjoy this creating process. It's yeah. really interesting project because uh, it combines many components inside it. Not only 3D printing uh, items, but also there are some electronic parts inside it. And yeah. there's, there is a, a big challenge, you know, combining uh, mm -hmm. electrical parts and uh, 3D printing uh, items. So uh, I believe our engineer must did a great job on it. Yeah, they sure did. So if this were cool, like, can you can you shoot? Can you shoot? This? Okay. So the question: Can this one really work? Can this? Uh, one? Yes, it can really work. But it okay. definitely just can shoot out the gel bars. You cannot shoot shoot real bullets, right? Okay, so yeah, it's very yeah, important. Right. Uh, I want just uh, uh, very uh, just emphasize it. It's not a real real weapon. It's just a uh, uh, 3D printed toy, and mm -hmm. uh, it can uh, shoot some uh, very soft bullets, and it won't uh, hurt anyone. Yeah, it's harmless. Yes, it's exactly. Harmless. So, uh, so what's I, inside? Yeah. What's inside? I'm very curious. Well, uh, how do you make this whole thing happen? Well, there is a circuit in it, and this is a collision coil. I don't okay. know if you guys can see it. Um, but don't, don't, don't worry. worry. Yeah. Yeah. So the so our audience can see this clearly. Okay. Let's see the comment and see if we are uh, fine with our voice. Um. Don't worry. So, okay. So we're gonna change our camera into the front uh, small camera and uh, let you guys have a close uh, look at it. Yeah, yeah, have a look. Okay, look. now as you can see, uh, the uh, mini Uzi is here. So uh, there are so many details on it. Maybe I'll let uh, uh, Jasmine do a like, detailed introduction and let you guys know uh, what exactly uh, each part is. and. Uh, later on, maybe uh, some of you are interested and you can make your own uh, Uzi. Yes, okay, perhaps you could take this part okay, away so, so they can see the inner thing. Interesting, because as uh, you can see here is a, a lock and I only need to push it back so I can open my uh, top uh, uh, frame. So, what's inside it? Okay, as you can see, this is the lithium coil, and oh. we use a pretty simple electronic magnetic uh, filament. It kind of like the transfer the magnetic energy to power, and then discharge high voltage electricity. And this is the gel box. You can see this white part, right? Yeah, we have an uh, isolated one. Uh, yes, transmission this is a gel box. Yeah. If you know something, uh, if you know something specific about the rail shooter, you can see this is a barrel, right? And this is a bat, this is a motor, and there is a gear box. There's a small gearing in structure yeah, inside. Camera? Yeah. Okay. okay, so inside it, there is a gear box to just uh, transfer the bullet uh, into the uh, tube and then shoot it uh, um, strongly. Yes, that's a bigger cap capacitor. This right. ignition coil use capacitor. Yeah, capacitor can just release very high, you know, voltage. Yeah, it can release high voltage but low uh, amps, so it won't be dangerous. But uh, the uplook, I mean, when it's turning on, it sounds crazy, and uh, sounds the the, crazy. the phenomenon is yeah. very uh, interesting. And the light, it's more like a lightning, but oh, it's, it's like not that. Song? Yeah, it's not that dangerous. Oh, yeah. It just uh, looks uh, very uh, scary. Yes. Okay. So let's just move on to this gel box. To be honest, uh, because we cannot screw this whole thing off, we don't bring some uh, socket wrench. So uh, let me just introduce you. What's inside? Uh, there is some uh, gearing in structure here. It consists of many small 
uh, gears. And the motor just drive these gears inside. And these gears then drive the bullet out along the barrel and then get pushed out from this muscle. This yeah, is yeah. how it works. Exactly. Basically, we are not 3D printing this part. It's uh, already a uh, uh, install part and you can buy it from any uh, electronic uh, stores online or anywhere Amazon. So uh, um, if you want to uh, get this project on, so uh, it will be a very uh, essential part for it. Yeah, of course, there are electrodes in it. There are electrodes in it. And okay, we finished this gel box part. Yeah, and so something else. And you, as you can see, there is a lithium. Okay. Okay. We have a rechargeable battery here. Yes. Yeah, small yes. one but powerful. Yes, it's kind of like a glue gun, but it doesn't work with the precinct of glue gun. Yeah. This is the this is a lithium battery. Okay. And this is the power. And uh, if you got if we just uh disassemble all of this, we move this away, and you can see there is also a switch below this that we cannot see here since there is some black part on it. So okay, okay. so that's the whole circuit, whole circuit stuff inside this program. Basically, what she is seeing here is inside it, we have a limit switch uh, hiding in, inside the body, and this trigger will trigger that limit switch, just like your 3D printer when you go auto homing and uh, the XY motor hit the limit switch. Same uh, principle here. You can see the sound exactly like the limit switch. Yes, this limit is Okay, yeah. so uh, what about this two uh, uh, switch here? Okay, so if you, if some of you guys um, know something about uh, a rail shooter, you can know this is the, this is the insurance switch. That means that if you switch it on, the whole set can work. If you switch off, the whole set will work. So let me just show you. Okay, just take care because perhaps we'll let out some sound. Bam, bam. Here you go. Okay. It's like a shiver right yeah, out here. Yeah. Well, first, okay. first. Oh, yeah. something comes. Out. <laughs> okay, okay. So we're gonna do a, like uh, another uh, demonstration later on. Just to today. at this moment, we're gonna show you guys uh, what this switch is. And we also have other interesting features on this uh, uh, weapon. And but before that, uh, we have some uh, other questions. So, uh, can you tell us like how the uh, circuit wiring uh, looks like? How the circuit wiring looks like? Yes, I mean just uh, you know inside it. Can you just uh, draw some uh, the pictures? The paradigm. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so. Um... Can you just get the focus on this paper? Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, as you can see here, this is the power, also called the battery, and okay, this is a uh, switch one, and this is switch two, and there are two motors, motor one and motor two, and they are parallel to each other and okay so just forget about this stuff forget about these wires this is surplus wires okay so this is insurance switch why okay i don't know if you can see them really well that's fine yeah in here yeah motor braking possible so here. Okay, as you can see here, um, this is the insurance switch. This one is insurance switch. And this is the switch that controls the trigger. Once you put the trigger, the limit switch is on and the circuit can just let the current run through. But the circuit is more complicated than that. We just get another circuit we just get another switch above it and we get some ignition coil. I don't know, it's electronic symbol, so just forgive me this time. I just will mark it 
uh, here, ignition coil, as you yeah, can see here. Okay. Okay. So this is the uh, basic uh, the diagram about how a all the wire, how the electronic part wired up. And uh, if you guys, okay, no, there are some uh, interesting uh, comments or questions here, and see if we can answer some of them. Okay, so Joshua asked, how many uh, terminals does this switch has? Well, mm, the answer is I have no idea, cause uh, uh, because I didn't design this one, and uh, uh, do you do you know this question? Okay, so if you want to know more detail, more detailed knowledge about it, perhaps we can just get some floating on series later, but not in this video. Yes, uh, if you're talking about the switch, I believe it's more like. Uh, whatever you have on your 3D printer. Looks, for me, they are similar. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's kind of technical questions. Uh, I mean, maybe some uh, mechanical uh, people can answer them. Mm -hmm. Also, the terms such as motor braking, uh, I, I, actually, it's my first time hear that word. Motor braking. Yeah. It's the uh, like a, a break in our car or somewhere, but anyway. Uh, so I hope I hope uh, I can answer your questions. Uh, but uh, regarding to this uh, uh, woozy, woozy, I mean mm, the motor. Uh, I really don't know what how it looks inside it. For me, uh, the what mo motor we have is uh, a simple DC motor. And uh, what else we have? Okay, um, some people are guessing. Uh, yeah, lipo battery. battery. Lipo battery. Oh, we use lithium battery. Lipo battery. I don't know. Uh, perhaps it's kind of like um, some battery related to lithium as well. But okay, so maybe I can open it again and say. Uh, okay. Yeah. Open it again and see if you guys have uh, any clues on what we have inside here. So, I have no clues. <laughs> but since uh, I'm like a nerd. You, you have all clues. Okay, so this is uh, some people already mentioned the big capacitors, or you can think of it as a transformer, just to change the voltage to a higher one. Um, other some yeah. some details about this. This can let What's out that? one million voltages of current. Yeah. Oh. No, no, of Only just voltage, voltage. One million voltages. Yes, not the current. But this current is kind of like. Uh, very weak. Yeah, very yeah. weak. So it it just will just hit. It will just terrify you, but it will hit you. Okay. So I believe there are some uh, uh, specifications about this uh, battery. If you guys can see it, so it's uh, it's uh, some numbers and uh, seven point four uh, voltage, and it's a uh, uh, thousand uh, milliamps. Well, get it. Uh, it looks the inside part is very complicated. Uh, it does. And for us, for normal people like us, but not for you technicians. I mean, you don't need to know anything. Everything is just uh, you know, spend some money and uh, <laughs> get one from the store. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, no, but for this one, it's not for selling. It's still yeah. for some of uh, our uh, project. Okay. Uh, so, yes, you cannot okay. get some. I'm just gonna thing. slowly close it up. Yeah, so kind of just like push it. Yeah, does here it is. A, does it have a yeah, button? here is a small uh, switch, and oh. it can uh, just uh, lock everything. So, uh, what about the bottom? What's this one? Okay, yes. the bottom. This is a magazine. Wow. This is a magazine. It contains bullets. It contains the gel bars. You put the gel bars in this, and then you can. There is a motor at the bottom, and there's a spring as well, and the boat the. Motor can push the spring onward and then push out the gel bars to the chamber of that barrel, so it can get the bullets loaded. So, the wow. so that's how it works. Mm. So the bullets, okay. So I know, and well, of course, it's not the real bullets. So what material does it use for shooting? Do you use for shooting? Well, it uses gel bars. Gel bars is kind of like uh, it's it's. Uh, Are you talking so about this? Yes, oh, yeah, it's, yeah. So, okay. it's super absorbent uh, polymers. It can it can suck water and just it can grow as big as um, 
two hundred to two hundred uh, two hundred to four hundred times as wow. equal as yeah, its original huge. size. So it's very, it's very it can become very huge. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what it looks like after it grown up? After you just use it, just put it in your water. What's the uh, what's the what's the what do you like? What does it like? So I believe we have some. Oh no, this one. This is my drinking <laughs> okay. cup. Oh, this is my drinking cup. Yeah, it's here. Oh. Yeah. Okay, can you see this? Can you show this clear to the camera? And we do have a colorful wow. jubble. Look at this one. You want to try one? You can just pick one. I will have to. Oh, it's the... Uh, <laughs> it's so tiny. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it's not a silica gel. <laughs> it's silica gel. It's kind of like for drying stuff or something like that. So yeah. it is harmful. Is this harmful to our? Um. Okay. As long as you don't eat it, is uh, harmless for to you. But yeah. if you you eat it, it will be harmful to your health. Yeah. And you can easily squish it, and you. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! I feel like a spring feeling. It's very. Just give me a very smooth, and it's transparent. Yeah. And the feeling is kind of like uh, some uh, uh, rubber. Like some rubber, but this yeah. one is usually it's harder than the normal the normal gel ball I have played before. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, did I hit you? No, no. Okay, so this is not that powerful. Okay, so let's just put our uh, magazine back. Okay, so this uh, so this gel ball uh, is the only material for shooting. Can you can you have do you have some alternatives? And if you can just find something as big as this gel ball, or just as light as it, just make the they are they are in the same weight and same size. Mm -hmm. It can just shoot it as well. Yeah, wow, plastic interesting. Can do the work as well. Maybe kids can kids like them because it's not real like bullet and it's not a BB bullet, so uh, it's soft and when it yeah. touch you, it's just, you know give you some uh, small uh, touching feeling, but it's not that hurt. So uh, it's not for decoration. It's for fun. And we will start. Do you want do you want to try shooting something? Uh, I mean, I, how about you do first? I'm kind of scared about okay, this. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm when I'm first heard the sound, it was like a lighting sound. Okay, no, 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 no that one. I'll talk about that later. But just the the, the, the simple shooting one. Okay, here is a switch. Uh, you can okay. see uh, we have a little oh switch God. here. Okay. No, not you. Do you want me to hold a paper like this and then no, shoot no. it towards the paper? Okay. Sometimes, I mean, basically, uh, we're gonna talk about it later. So it's not a finished project. We are still having some uh, assembly uh, modification uh, okay. ongoing, yeah. and uh, I'm, I cannot guarantee that uh, uh, the bullet will come out. Okay. So I just want you to try the feelings holding a like a. Yeah, real I want weapon. to try. I want okay, to try. Okay, go ahead. Don't worry. Did you already turn the switch on? No, I didn't. Which, okay, I don't don't uh, pony anyone else. Okay, so, so it's it's right here. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, switch it, and okay. then uh, you can push the trigger. Which direction should I shoot? Okay, in front of the camera. Right, the <laughs> camera, then I shoot the camera. Then I roll the camera off. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Oh my god! It has so much fun. Okay, that's just you know very interesting. So, I believe uh, you guys, you guys will like it. <laughs> okay, some people say I'm wearing a new creative t-shirt. Well, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not mine. I just borrowed it because I forgot my t-shirt today. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So that this is the stocking side? It's not stocking because we are have some like uh, uh, connecting uh, issues at this moment. As you can see, uh, uh, do you know these two uh, things here? Electrodes. Yes, basically uh, we have a motor inside it and all the wiring come up uh, here. So these two supposed to connect the battery and to get some power uh, ongoing. Mm -hmm. But at this moment, the connection uh, area is not strong and it's quite weak. So sometimes it's touching, sometimes it's not. So that's why the gel ball is not coming out at this moment. So um, it's not a big problem. It's just in some uh, uh, small fixing. Yeah, just after we okay. done with this small fixing. Yeah. And because this afternoon we actually test it, and then you can shoot out the jumble. Exactly. Yeah. So it's. Okay. So
so enough uh, shooting time, and then we will try some more interesting features What's on this it? one. What's that? Okay, We're just curious. guessing. What's this tool for? It's um, too yellow, uh, like uh, antenna thing. What uh, do you think? I think it's too uh, electric. It has, oh. you must, yeah, you must, it's an electric pole. Okay. And uh, because I see some clips on the YouTube scene, okay. uh, when the policeman, <laughs> when the policeman, you know, they're gonna shoot somebody that they use a special laser gun. Exactly, it's similar. But we, before we just uh, do an introduction about this one, let's say uh, if we have some questions uh, on the common area. Yeah, so you can guess what's the purpose of these two yellow lines. Okay, so how long can, uh, how long does this one need to print? It will take literally uh, 48 hours to, to print it out. Okay, yeah. so what she is saying, like for this one, basically this is the main body taking the longest time uh, for the printing. And uh, this part is our, as you can see, is our uh, lower frame. So mm -hmm. it takes uh, the majority time. And then we have uh, upper frame. As you can see, it's like a, a, a cover on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the totally time will be uh, 48 hours, two days. Two days, two days. Great. Yeah. that's great. And what's the material? This upper or the lower, whatever it's the okay. thing is. Okay, it, it is. Um, I personally recommend you use uh, PETG because okay. PETG is more is much more stronger than uh, PLA. But the PLA is biodegraded, that means it can be reused. And the PETG combines the best of ABS and the PET and, and the PLA. ABS is another material that has very that has great strength that it mm -hmm. can just you know. Sometimes it, it, it will just burn and have that very, very bad smell and it will get yeah. you okay. to vomit. That's good to know. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're gonna change our camera into the big one and uh, let you guys uh, see all of us. <laughs> mm. Okay, so any other uh, comments here? Yes, about what's the purpose of okay. these two yellow? Which, which yellow, I don't even know the professional um, names. Okay. It's a very abstract question because you can just you know adjust the speed rate on the slide on the slicer. So if you just adjust the speeding rate very very wow. high, you can just print it as fast as possible. Yeah, right. It perhaps will just take one day to print it this whole side out. Okay. But you want to have you want to focus cool. on very good quality. You can just, you know, just adjust the layer height to yeah. 0.1 millimeter, and it will cost more time to print this whole set out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. According to the size of this uh, frame, I believe under three can handle it easily. Under three. Yeah. Under three or under three pro. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, a lot of machines. It depends on like skin. how you do the like uh, the slicing. You, mm. Which way you want the Will make it up, up, upside, etc. Things. Yeah. I believe this, this, this way should be fine for yeah. printing. Yeah, this is like the normal printer and the three yeah. the three four is. Yeah, it's yeah. absolutely, it's absolutely cool. This one. Okay. Uh, if you want to pursue the good quality, you can just you know adjust the layer height to point one millimeter and get the fill failure density as big as possible, make it 100% and then it can be very solid and no one can break it. And you can just get the density of the support to very tiny lumber and they will make it very convenient for you to get it removed. Good. So I think that's a good technique but when you're just printing something or slicing something. Exactly. Out. So uh, I believe some people already uh, guessed what this two yellow uh, wiring is and what's its purpose. Basically, uh, yes, according to what we uh, said earlier, we have a big capacitor yeah. and then we have uh, like, what's the word, transformer or something? Ignition coil. Ignition coil. Ignition coil. Yeah, this so, is part is exactly. Coil. And uh, uh, the question is, it's a very serious problem if uh, it can electric you. Well, mm, that's uh, something we have to consider. Yeah. Uh, so but don't worry. To electric people, electric. Yes, yes. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, it has a high voltage, but mm -hmm. it has low uh, current. 
so it won't hurt anything. So if accidentally you get hit by the elect electric, and all you can feel is a somewhat, uh, what's the feeling? Because it's, yeah, yeah, it's right. kind of like tickling you. It's yeah, tickling. Tickling. Okay. Maybe it's tickling. It's just a bit happen. hot. It, it, and maybe it's worse than that. But, yeah, I uh, think it, it's it, worse than that. Yeah. It's just tickling. I would okay. be so scared. But anyway, anyway, we're gonna start a demonstration and let you guys have a visible uh, view and how you think about it. So, uh, I guess uh, here is the on off switch, right? Okay, let me just uh, remove this one. Jasmine so, is very talented. She is one of our bird okay. maker team. So we have the maker team. Yeah, she yeah, is. Like a technician. So uh, we have our uh, on-off switch on the side, and uh, I'll just simply turn it on for a minute and uh, a second, actually, yeah. a second, and uh, let you guys have a. Uh, uh, I'm afraid of this. Okay, okay. 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 okay, don't worry, don't worry. I'm the one holding it. Okay, okay. But so. we are the one. Okay. okay, I didn't see the fire. Okay, uh, we're going to change to a, a small camera and I let you guys have a close look. Yeah. Okay, so here it is. And you guys just uh, be prepared. I have already prepared. I have okay. Already prepared. Oh. Whoa. It's basically, it's like a, a, the same, same principle as lightning, I believe. Yes. Thunder. Okay. Yeah, some thunder. It comes so, thunder. But how powerful it is. I'm not gonna try it with my own body. Mm -hmm. So I'm not that stupid. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna I use a I'm gonna use a paper, see yeah. what happens uh, yeah. uh, uh on the screen. Please. Yeah, okay. Please. Okay, yeah, just, like okay, just to, like go yeah. from the camera. Okay, Maybe the like camera. this. <laughs> You have to give us some okay. time. It takes a. I'm, I'm seeking, but anyway. Okay, will you hurt me? Maybe. Ah, no, no. Oh, oh my god. Okay, oh. basically, I made some uh, marks on the on the paper, as you can see, small uh, dots, because I moved my uh, uh, woozy uh, quickly. If I stop on one spot uh, for a second, okay. it's gonna leave uh, like a small hole. Okay, so do you want to see? Let's try one more time. Okay, one more time. Just uh, stick only one post. Okay, just so put the paper between these two coil. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Wow. As you can see, uh, this That's two dark uh, color, the hole uh, is made. <laughs> As you can see, if you don't have a knife, you can use this one to cut your paper. <laughs> so. <laughs> Are you serious? No. 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 Uh, okay, just do explanation. <laughs> okay, uh, it is of uh, one one million voltages, but it is currently is very tiny, so you don't need to worry about that. It will hurt you very much, but don't be that um, hilarious to print your hands okay, in front okay. of it. That's that's not allowed. Okay, it's not. Uh, yes. Uh, if you uh, leave this one to your kids, it's not uh, a good idea. I don't think that idea. would be a very good gift. It's not a good idea. Basically, uh, this is our uh, modification uh, on this uh, Uzi, original Uzi, actually. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, uh, just a new feature for everyone to try something new. And uh, uh, it's not that harmful and it's not that dangerous. Yes, the sound is crazy and it's scary all of us, yeah, but uh, uh, the real damage will really low. But today we're gonna not try it with my finger because I wanna <gasps> still have wanna it. Do I, I don't, I don't. Okay. But uh, I'll leave the visible results as you can see here mm -hmm. today. So uh, we won't do a, a further uh, demonstration and all we can know is it can cut paper through. So, mm -hmm. Do you have any other questions you want to know? Yes. Uh, so uh, my question is, uh, what inspired you? What inspired you to design this uh, shooter in the first place? Okay. Um, I think many boys they have a dream of having some uh, job up blaster in their childhood, but the job up blaster sometimes costs a lot of money. So we decided to just 
do it on our own. We buy some um, electronic parts like the gear box or the lithium battery, ignition coil, and we just print, we just find some STR fires online. And we design this trigger on our own, this trigger. Oh, yeah. Yes. And uh, we just just print those STR fires out and we get it assembled. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it costs uh, cost much less money than a real job of blaster. Oh. oh, yeah, I see. I see because, because as a girl, I don't see, I, I can't understand, but I know there are many, uh, many boys they have a dream to have their own own shooters, yes. on their own shooters, and you know, this will be a very fantastic project for themselves to do. Of yet. course, of course. Yes. So why are you doing this? Uh, is this uh, this shooter only for the technician to do it, or normal people like us are able to have a chance to, you know, to build this? Um, you can find a lot of documents online about how mm -hmm. to make this whole stuff. It's not very complicated. You just know the circuit diagram and you find the right parts for it and you get the right STR fires and then you can get all the things out. Yes. Well, good point. Yeah, one of our one of our audiences actually asked where they can find the information about the STR files and the, the required materials. Okay, um, we will just uh, link our uh, STR file link on the description box below. If we don't link it here, we will just get it. We will just get it to you later. And you also can just find it on some, you know, modeling source websites like Thinkgivers. Uh, Thinkgivers. Yeah. Okay, I don't know the exact name of that website. Right. Yeah, um, you and can, you can find also find out these files on our um, on our cloud cloud app. Yes, 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 you can find it on our cloud app. And the required materials sometimes they are PLA or sometimes they are uh, PTG. And it's just you know as, as you want you want some some material that has. That has a great strength. You can choose PTG or ABS. Uh, ABS will just get a very bad smile. It's kind of like sterile fume. Yeah. It's okay. very dead. It's very harmful so, to your health. Mm, yes. And, yeah, it smells. Yeah. Okay. So, is there also, any way? Is there a good way to get up, get rid of the bad smell? Uh, I guess not. But you can choose PLA or PTG. PLA is kind of like. Uh, PLA is very prominent in the market now. Mm -hmm. uh, you can choose many colors of it. You can just, you know, print it as you want. But after long time use, it will its parents creep. That means that exactly. that means that it will just, you know, its quality is not that good if you use it for a long time. Mm -hmm. And some clients have uh, said online that they just want to uh, print some uh, rectangular plate out. Uh, using PLA, then they just then just after year of use, that uh, plate, that rectangular plate, just become some circular stuff. So these corners are uh, get felted. It's very very fun, but I think no one would like to see it if they really put it into practice. So basically, for general use, the PLA should be fine for ninety percent of our project. But if you have some specific use, for example. For example, if you need some more like material require some strength or require some like a temperature uh, requirement, you do need to change your uh, material to ABS or whatever other yeah. high quality materials. Oh, yeah. I believe uh, at this moment the ABS really uh, is the a good choice uh, mm -hmm. for uh, strength for like any other uh, quality. But uh, many people do have the difficulties to print the ABS because it's very easy to get uh, uh, wrapped during the first layer. So and, yeah. yes. So, so then you can just move to the PTG. PTG combines the best of ABS and the best of the PLA. That, that's a good choice. So uh, we're going to change to our camera into the front one. And uh, let's say uh, if you have I believe there are so many comments at this moment. Yeah. Wait, we're gonna, to yeah. Do the Q and A. Yes. 
Okay, so the question is, are you on the ready? Uh, yes, yes, I said. Uh, wouldn't it be too difficult to engineer the prongs to be telescopically retractable too, mm -hmm. maybe on the switchable pin or electronic me mechanism? Well, uh, technically it's not difficult, but there are some, uh, uh, as we mentioned earlier, some uh, 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 material quality or material pro properties uh, limited the, uh, what we want to do. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, the 3D printing cannot print some uh, structures. Also, mm -hmm. the printing uh, quality is not as strong. Also, there are some other uh, uh, limitations. But also, the biggest limitation is uh, what we can do during our uh, regulations of our like uh, government. And basically, we are only limited to uh, uh, like toy or, or, or like uh, have some fun uh, uh, project. But we are not trying to make something uh, beyond the the rule. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Uh, so, do we have any, any other comments? Oh yeah. <laughs> so I actually, I personally have one. I know this, yes. uh, this will be very difficult to finish the whole project. And uh, uh, my question is, what is the biggest obstacle or the biggest difficulty you have ever encountered while uh, while uh, designing this shooter? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just print all the, all of those STR files out, and you want to get the right thing you want, but in reality. Uh, once they get a print out, you'll find the size don't fit together. Right. Like yeah. uh, like in this magazine, this this spring is too big and it can it will cause some problems to the electrodes. So um, as you can see the wood bolts cannot just shoot correctly mm. in this case. So I think many difficulties will occur. Um, yeah, exactly. Because for a normal project, if we print a single part, the mm -hmm. uh, biggest concern is uh, we, we care about if our finished surface is looking good. For example, if you want to print some like uh, cute uh, animals uh, or like uh, your uh, decorations at home, you yeah. more care about uh, your surface, it has a good finish. And you don't want uh, some hiring or some like uh, bubbles on it. Yeah. But uh, for big for big projects such as this one, the Uzi, you need some assembling uh, process. Then the tolerance between parts and parts are super important instead yeah. of the uplook. Yeah. Especially if this is not printed as a whole part. Yeah. It actually has upper framing and lower framing. Exactly. And after you double yes. framing, you have to assemble them together. And sometimes, and the only the small difference make a huge difference. That's what we're true. talking about the tolerance. That's true. Yeah. Okay, tolerance. You learned a word. Oh, a term. I heard okay. Thanks. Basically, the tolerance is more important for engineering design. Uh, and sometimes we cannot finish uh, one project on one print because after one, we have to just do a quick assemble and try if our hole is matching or our hole is small or big. And then we have to modify our part again, again, and again okay. to get the best results. Yeah, yeah, to get the best of the results and to see if they are perfect fit each other, then the whole part, then when they come out and this can work. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, uh, that's true. We are not selling them and uh, this is just uh, as our uh, goal of our uh, you know, maker, uh, I mean, as our, uh, researcher team, mm -hmm. we are just uh, uh, trying to discover the potential of the printers, and we are not made, uh, selling any yeah, product like this. Yet. So uh, it's just, you know, for us to uh, use the printers to make many interesting projects as possible, and to let more people know what printers can do. And mm -hmm. in this way, we can encourage more people to make their own design and make their own project for themselves. Yes. So yes, is a, a printer is not just about printing any decoration in your home. Mm -hmm. And you can see we have done this, and you can try it if you are interested in this. In this, you can try it with your own printers. Then you can actually build yourself some childhood toy. Or right. and yes, you just have so many other ways to play with the printers. Well said. Yeah. Well said. Um, yeah. Okay. So so far we don't see it. Okay. So. Uh, Yes, here is common. Good job. 
Thank you, Margarita. <laughs> it's okay. I have it here. Okay. So. Yeah, yes. Good job and great work. Now let's make the next Java project something to create free energy, like a windmill. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> With like a windmill water yeah. or water treatment. Water turbine. Yeah, water turbine. Well, that, that's a very interesting project. Yes, I mean, that's a very interesting project. Of course, it's I also a big project. project. Windmill. Uh, yes. It don't have to be that huge, but uh, within our like limit uh, printers, printer. yeah, maybe about like half meters high. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. That's very like, uh, our, our, like environment friendly thinking. Yeah. Because in this way, I mean, we are not we are not trying to make something uh, dangerous. We are just. Uh, mm, Explore our mind and uh, say if we can just uh, do something more creative. Yeah, yes, but yeah. as as you said, uh, we we all like make something like that. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. Yes, yeah, this right. definitely will be on our agenda. Okay. And uh, our maker team, if they have yes, uh, maybe next their next project is your mm -hmm. is the <laughs> wind the help. Exactly. Yes. We have many projects ongoing in our group mm -hmm. and. Uh, Later on in the future, we will bring more and more interesting yes. and entertaining projects yeah, uh, on the air. Yeah. So if you, so which product or which project, uh, what kind of creative you want us to, you want to see us to build, just leave us or tell us in the comment section. Okay. Yeah. Some people are saying. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Uh, maybe a lot of you are interested in different things, uh, and uh, we are hoping to hear uh, your voice and if you have some good suggestions some good ideas you want us to do a uh, try out or do want us to do a uh, yeah. um, design and we will consider it and bring it to, to into table. a real thing yeah and uh, we can discuss them and we can just share our experience and let more people enjoy 3d printing yeah Okay, we said before it take really forty eight hours to yeah. print the whole set out, but uh, you save the time that you will just do some purchasing job online. Like you need to just buy some electronic parts, like ignition coil, lithium battery, and some other stuff online. That it will take time as well. So it depends on you, your plan. If you want to just plan yeah. it in a very fast way, you can just of course you can adjust the setting um, mm. just to make it speed as faster so, exactly so it depends on you yes mm -hmm. i think but, the audience they're trying to say is what is just the what's the time to just print the frame itself yeah they're not including all of this you know the inside parts just the frame okay well this frame just take uh 48 hours yeah, yeah. basically two days roughly okay. Yeah, and for the inside mm -hmm. assembly and all of the electricity thing that I don't know, I mean, <laughs> it depends on your own space. When you consider uh, make your own project, I believe the timing shouldn't be a problem because you like what you are doing and you are willing to spend time into it. So uh, either it's 40, 48 hours or one week, but for me personally, if I want to uh, start a project, I will spend my spare time like totally to to do to finish it, so it's more about personal interest. Yeah. So if I'm interested in it, but <laughs> I will devote my time into this project. Yeah. Some people are thinking making the ball in TPU. True. Uh, TPU uh, material is a good idea, but the the small problem I can guess right now is uh, when we are using 3D printers making balls. It actually, when it's come up, it's not a real ball. Either the di di dimension or the diameter is not the uh, same around the ball because we have layer by layers and uh, it's always just to get some squeezed because the uh, gravity uh, working on the uh, printing uh, material. Still, uh, what we have here, the uh, gel ball is the perfect uh, round, as uh, you can see. Uh, okay. oh. <laughs> uh, but it's a, it's a good thinking. Yes, uh, TPU is a good choice for print soft material. Okay, for the STL, some people are still asking, and uh, we will post the link uh, on our uh, Facebook. And you guys, if you guys are interested, we can uh, share the links, and you can download them and uh, do a quick tryout. 
and to get the uh, printed uh, part out and see if you guys want to do inside the uh, electronic parts also. And you can buy the uh, components uh, on any uh, online stores. Even with supports, they are difficult to print well. Uh, the bottom of them will be rough. Well, perhaps you can just, you know, change your printer to SLA step or DLP step. That yeah. can just make, make it more smoother. Yeah, that's a good question and a good answer. But uh, SLA is a totally different uh, uh, area about uh, 3D print technologies. But regarding to the FDM, there are some uh, disadvantages. Uh, and uh, I believe many people uh, still like FDM because uh, it's uh, still the price is reasonable. Yeah, it's and, very cost effective. Yes, uh, yeah. people, many people can afford it. So when we're talking about the printing quality, yes, there are some uh, uh, in, uh, avoidable uh, elements we can uh, not uh, avoid, such as the first layer or some supporting uh, materials. We have to remove them or something like that. But uh, still, uh, by doing a good setup in Cura or any other slicing software, we can avoid the our uh, like uh, labor work. But if you're talking about the SLA, it will be uh, totally different. Yes, it will right. be totally different. But SLA has a different tech technology mm -hmm. from FDM. Yes. But if you really want very smooth outer layer, you can perhaps just use ABS, then just get it soft in acetone, and acetone will polish the whole stuff. But, okay. But I think printed bowls is not a realistic. Mm -hmm. yeah. And some of you just say, what is in reference to printing spheres? Okay, yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's a very technical question. Yeah, so okay. yeah, I don't know what's this about. Well, there's, yes, okay. uh, some things like balls. Uh, I mean, yeah, there are maybe some special techniques to print them, but I don't like to print uh, circular stuff on 3D printers. Depends on how the uh, way you're holding it. Maybe you can do some specific settings uh, on it. Yeah. Uh, Still, the big, biggest reason is gravity. It's gonna change the shape of your circle and uh, make it uh, not circle. Yes, so our user says ABS. Well, or... this product is made of PTG. Yeah, this yeah, one PTG. PTG. Yeah, because ABS, ABS smells. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very smelly, and you can get a smell out. Maybe, maybe you just lay out in the, in the air. Okay, some, some people are guessing uh, two days. Uh, the material, actually, uh, if you are regarding to uh, the main body, it's uh, less than a pound. So you are guessing like a 400 uh, gram. I believe, yeah, for this one, I mean, the total weight should be uh, about uh, um, 600 uh, gram. But for this one, only the printed part, it will be like maximum of, of a pound, like 400 gram. Uh, can it be printed without support? As I can see from it, uh, if you put like a stand up like this way, you do need support uh, mm -hmm. on the lower bottoms. If you put it uh, on, like horizontally, you still need print uh, support here. Anyway, you need support. Yeah. I believe according to the patterns, I can say uh, from this uh, demo, uh, the way of uh, the supporting should be, uh, I believe, yes, like this. I, I can see the rough edge on the bottom, but the top is fine. The top is fine. That means that uh, it put it like this way. Well, I think you guys perhaps just think that support will make it very complicated for it to get removed. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can yeah. just set the uh, support density to like eighty percent or even smaller. It I just depends on weight. Yeah. Okay, the layer height uh, by the naked eyes it should be like a zero point two. Uh, it's it's not that uh, smooth uh, finishing. It's just a general uh, finishing. Yeah. So uh, we are trying something uh, interesting also uh, for the material. 
I believe many people already know uh, there are certain type of material are uh, dis dissolvable in water and uh, you can use that material as supporting material and use a PLA uh, as your main model material. That, that is required to uh, extrude extruders. In that way, you can put your finished part into the water and the support material will dispose uh, into the water and you have your printed part, the main body uh, well uh, uh, printed. So, uh, the question is, I want to create parts that are tubes and have to uh, withstand a small impact and internal uh, pressure. What material do you suggest? PLA or other material? Okay, so uh, still it's a uh, uh, very uh, general uh, uh, asking. What I'm deciding is the TPU should be fine for your uh, uh, tubing uh, designing. PLA is the uh, for general use, but it cannot hold too much pressure inside or outside it. Uh, and after a long time, PLA will get be uh, oxidized and uh, the material property will change quickly. So uh, for myself, uh, I was printed, uh, I, I printed a TPU uh, tubes for myself uh, here in my home. So TPU should be fine. Well, uh, I think perhaps PETG and Lelon will be fine too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so any uh, other questions or any other comments you guys want to uh, leave here? Shall yeah, because yes, our because of the time limit, limited time, so we can ask one more question. Okay. Another good advantage about TPU is that uh, if you are using your uh, tube, uh, just uh, connecting to other tube, the PT the, the TPU has some uh, uh, tensions, so you can just. Uh, uh, set up your proper di di diameter and uh, push it with your uh, fingers, push, push, push it with your hand to other tubes. So it will be uh, connected together without any other couplings. Okay, so uh, any other questions? Uh, because we are kind of uh, uh, with the uh, time, and uh, I believe this will be the end of uh, our uh, today's uh, live yeah. stream. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, uh, thank you, Jasmine, and thank you, Eli, for bringing us such yes. a good project and uh, let us see more possibilities play with this printer. Okay. And uh, yeah, so if you are if you are inspired by us, you can use the printer to create more stuff that you want to try. So we have tried this out for you, and it is definitely you can try it at home. So due to the time limited, limited time, and uh, we hate to say goodbye, but <laughs> okay, it's like a goodbye sound. Yes. Okay, so I guess that's it for today, and uh, uh, have a good one, everyone. So let's say goodbye to our users, to our audience. Bye bye. Yes. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.